The latest Minecraft 1.20 snapshot is now out, and it's gonna be one of the best in a while. It can make your armor go from looking like this to looking like this in vanilla Minecraft. So how exactly does this update work and how can they make it even better? So when you go in a smithing table now and open it up, you'll notice it looks a lot different. And when you try putting something in to upgrade it to netherite, you'll notice it doesn't work. Because there's this first slot here, the smithing templates. And to now upgrade these, you'll need a netherite upgrade, which you put in here first, then the pickaxe, then the netherite ingot. This is the same for all tools and all armor, and you can find these upgrades inside the bastions. So it's way harder to get netherite stuff now. There's also all of these to make all of your armor look different. The armor trims. The way that these work is you put a smithing table down, any armor piece is better than leather. And then an ingot or crystal of your choice, in this case I'm using diamonds, and it makes this amazing thing that can make your armor look like this. As you saw, there are a bunch of different templates and there's a bunch of different colors you can use for it. So here they all are. Here's each one and how to get it. The sentry armor with iron found in pillager outposts. The dune armor with copper found inside desert pyramids. Coast armor with gold, one of my favorite trim colors. Found inside the shipwrecks. The wild armor with lapis. These are found in jungle temples. The tide armor with emeralds. These are found in ocean monuments. Ward armor with diamond, easily one of the best looking combos. These are found all the way down in the ancient cities. The vex armor with netherite, found in the woodland mansions. The incredible rib armor with redstone. You can find this in the nether fortress. The snout armor with amethyst. These are found in the bastions. The eye armor with quartz. These are found in the stronghold. And the spire armor with some diamond. These are found in the end cities. Now these look incredible. And with some of the right armor trims and color combos, these will just look amazing. But how can they make this any better? Well, I've been doing some thinking and I got some ideas. Well, one thing off the bat you might notice is you can't put leather stuff in there. It just doesn't work. No reason why. Well, there probably is a reason why, but I imagine it's to do with the dyed leather. But if they could apply this to leather as well, that'd be really cool. One thing I've noticed, which is just a little bit annoying, there are 11 different trims and 10 different colors. Why can't we just have one more? Well, which one do we put in? That's where I think the Echo Shard would be brilliant. It's super rare, and you could make it animated in a similar way the Skulk Blocks are. That would be really cool. This is a bit of a stretch and they probably wouldn't add this, but it would be so cool if some of the trims had special effects. What if having a gold trim meant that all these piglins didn't attack me? Lapis could have a slightly better chance of getting better enchantments. What if one could get me to 30k subs on YouTube so people stop asking on Hypixel how I have YouTube rank? Oh, only you guys can do that? Okay, move on to the next one then. But press sub. Redstone could be used as a redstone torch. So whenever you stand on something, it lights up the redstone. This would make TNT run in vanilla super easy. Now for the other colors, I'm not too sure how they could do those ones. But hey, if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. I came up with some of these in like 10 minutes. And if there's a whole team at Minecraft thinking of them, they could be amazing. By the way, I don't want to seem like I'm complaining with this update. I think it's incredible. The amount of unique combos you can have is insane. And I can already see this being used on like lore based servers as like different teams. Almost like a uniform. I just knew everyone was going to be making this video. I wanted to make it a little bit different with some of my ideas. If you're seeing this within the first two days, come over to my Twitch. I'm playing in two super cool competitions over the weekend. So hey, come cheer me on. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any fun ideas for this armor. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.